Good evening, everybody. Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is December 5th, 2021, and I am very excited to bring this information to you tonight. I have a lot of information I want to share with you, and I'm very excited about this piece of information on December 12th, Comet Leonard being closest to Earth on Comet 12, and we're going to talk about the location of this very important piece of information very exciting piece of information but before we get to that information I want to start out here with the new moon of the 10th month which has been spotted today in Israel Israel based observation the new moon of the 10th month the first report for the 10th new moon of the year came from the region of Sydney, Australia on Sunday evening, December 5th, followed by Melbourne and Brisbane, Australia, and points westward. For Israel-based observers, the 10th new moon was also sighted in western Galilee on Sunday evening, December 5th, by Kenny, Haley, and Hannah Russell. Okay, we do have other reports showing this as well. The new moon has been seen in Israel we have the official beginning of the 10th month which is the, the month of Tevet so if we go to the calendar here on the Hebrew calendar December 5th after sunset the new moon um, the Hebrew calendar is showing this to be the second of Tevet which obviously if we have a new moon sighting today this should be the first of Tevet instead of the second of Tevet, but this is where the Hebrew calendar has that it has us. It shows us that this is uh, the last day of Hanukkah between December 5th and December 6th, last day of Hanukkah. But if we go to the Torah calendar, we're going to see that December 5th to December 6th is the first day of Tevet, the tenth month, first day of Tevet, and that. Hanukkah will go through December 8th okay so just take that into consideration as we are here in a very critical time uh, the Hebrew calendar may be correct this may be the calendar that God is using or it may be off by one or two days um, just consider this information Hebrew calendar has Hanukkah ending on December 6th and the Torah calendar has Hanukkah ending on December 8th okay now the month of Tevet I want to show you a very few pieces of information here um, very important about the month of Tevet Tevet is the month of Esther being crowned Queen of Persia okay Esther was crowned the Queen of Persia in the 10th month okay and what we're going to see here is that uh, starting in uh, on Tevet 1, Esther was taken to King Ahasuerus' palace leading to her becoming queen. She was taken to the palace, taken to the palace. And then on the 10th day, Esther appears before Hasuerus for the first time and is chosen by him to be the queen okay so the first day she was taken and on the tenth day she was chosen so I like those two words I wanted to share that with you based on I mean this is Wikipedia here <laughs> okay so Esther was taken on the first day of Tevet and she was chosen on the 10th day of Tevet. Now, 10th day of Tevet is also a, uh, it's a national fast day in Israel, the 10th of Tevet. And it's uh, connected to Nebuchadnezzar's, Nebuchadnezzar's army besieging Jerusalem. And this day is now commemorated as a fast day. Okay, even on the Torah calendar, we're going to see that the siege of Jerusalem, the fast of the 10th month, Okay, connected to the walls being broken down and the siege of Jerusalem happening on the 10th day of Tevet. 
as we're looking at December uh, 5th today, December 6th tomorrow, I just want to remind everybody that four years ago, okay, we're seeing we're seeing the uh, the Hebrew calendar being the last day of Hanukkah, December 6th. Four years ago on December 6th, Donald Trump, okay, declared Jerusalem the eternal capital of Israel and signed a declaration that was recognized. And it was so widely recognized that seven days later, on December 13th, the, the Islamic community put out a decree, a counter-decree, declaring that Jerusalem was the Palestinian uh, capital, that Jerusalem was the capital of Palestine. And so they went against Donald Trump. So it was very important, this, this declaration of Donald Trump was very, very important. And this is the four-year anniversary of that statement on December 6th. So I wanted to share that. And we have before, or right at the end of Hanukkah here, whether it's the 6th or the 8th of December, we have the anniversary of Pearl Harbor. This is an 80-year anniversary. We know that in Psalm uh, chapter 90, it talks about a generation, quite possibly being a, up to 80 years. And uh, this 80-year marker, very, very significant, uh, may be something we need to consider. Now, one thing I saw on this, and uh, I had never seen this before as I looked into this, the, uh, the Japanese military leadership referred to the attack as Hawaii Operation and Operation AI. Okay, Operation AI, Operation Artificial Intelligence. Operation AI. Had you seen that before? Did you know that? Is this something to consider uh, about the importance of December 7th? Um, we do not know, but I would just say, you know, we've got COVID-19 that's happening, and AI is the same as 1-9. A is the first letter. I is the ninth letter. COVID-19 is COVID AI. We have Operation AI, attack on Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941, 80-year anniversary. Then we have on December 11th, I'm really uh, anxious to get to December 12th and the possibilities we have for December 12th. But uh, on December 11th, we have an asteroid as big as, an Eif as the Eiffel Tower. And that is called Asteroid 4660 Nereus. And it's uh, almost the size of the Eiffel Tower. That's a big deal in the news. They're talking about Nereus for December 11th. Now I want to get to Comet Leonard that will be closest to Earth on December 12th. Okay? Closest to Earth on December 12th. Now, remember we had in 2013 Comet Ison, and that was a comet, a, you know, one of the biggest comets in a long, long time. Such amazing photographs. It was, they were hoping it would be a naked eye com comet. It never really turned out to be a naked eye comet, um, but it was an amazing time. And it arrived on Hanukkah. It uh, was also Thanksgiving. A lot of information came forth about the coming of Jesus Christ <laughs> together with Comet Ison. I, Son, the Son of Man, the sign of the Son of Man. Well, now we have a comet that's not Comet Ison, it's Comet Leonard. Okay? And Leonard, okay, the meaning of Leonard is lion. Leonard, Leonard or Leo is a common English, German, Irish, and Dutch masculine given name and a surname. The given name and surname originate from the old high German Leonard containing the prefix Levon or lion from the Greek lion through the Latin Leo and the suffix brave or hardy. The name has come to mean lion strength 
Lion Strong or Lion Hearted. Leonard, okay, means Lion Strength, Lion Strong or Lion Hearted. Okay, all right. Now, the next piece of information, not only the name of the comet, the next piece of information has to do with the location on the day it is closest to Earth. Okay, this is significant. The day it is closest to Earth is the day we would want to see and focus on. It's the it's, it's a sign in the heavens closest to Earth. This would be the significant day within Comet Ison closest to Earth, December 12th. Okay, exactly on December 12th, and I was able to confirm this through a Stellarium. Let me pull up Stellarium and I'll show you. Okay. Okay, so I was able to add Comet Leonard into the Stellarium database and pull this up December 12, 2021, and it's in the constellation of Ophiuchus. It's in the constellation of Ophiuchus. This is the 13th constellation. Okay, this is where the sun is together with. Uh, Ophiuchus together with Comet Leonard on the same day. Then uh, just to let everybody know, the solar eclipse that just happened on December 4th was down here in between Scorpio and Ophiuchus. Okay, so we've got this amazing piece of information about number one, what does Ophiuchus represent? Ophiuchus represents the serpent bearer, represents quite possibly even Michael, the archangel, okay? Casting out the snake, casting out the serpent, the great battle in heaven, okay? The 21-day battle in heaven, Michael and the, and the serpent battling it out, the king of Persia, and then after 21 days, the serpent is thrown out. Now, December 12th, Ophiuchus, the serpent bearer, Comet Leonard, Leo, the lion, lion strength, okay, lion strong. Then we have this connection to Revelation 12.12, 12, okay. Let's look at uh, Revelation 12.12 12, based on December 12th. Comet Leonard, which means lion strength, lion strong, lion hearted. Okay. It's in the same location as the recent solar eclipse that just happened over Antarctica. And Revelation 12 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Okay, now this whole passage of scripture starts in verse 7, when it talks about there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought in his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Okay. And they overcame him by the blood of the, blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved their lives. They loved not their lives unto the death. And Revelation 12.12 12 was a verse that the Lord gave to me when I had my sign in the sun on December 12, 2012, 12, 12, 
And the Lord showed me that this is the perfect representation of the, the rapture judgment trumpet. The Lord showed me that Revelation 12, 12 is the perfect description of the rapture judgment trumpet. And this has to do with the fact that, first of all, we see rejoice. Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Okay. Now, if this is the rapture trumpet, then we have all of the saints being taken to heaven and rejoicing in heaven. And the left behind then are connected to woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down to you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Okay. Now, is this just another coincidence that on the day of my sign, December 12th, which was 2012, is nine years on the Gregorian calendar. Now, the other thing about uh, Comet Leonard, the founder of Comet Leonard, on January 30, on January 3rd, 2021, American astronomer Gregory Leonard, okay, Gregory as in Gregorio, watch, Gregory as in watch in Greek is Gregorio, watch the lion, Gregory Leonard means watch the lion, Gregorio lion, okay, watch the lion, Gregorio is the word for watch in the Greek, okay, now, connected to this, on December 12th, is the day of my sign nine years ago. And the Lord showed me that, this, that Revelation 12.12 12 is connected to the rapture, judgment, trumpet. Rejoicing in heaven and woe on earth. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And here we have Comet Leonard. Exactly where the serpent is being thrown down on December 12th. Is this the sign of the rapture? This is a, a very powerful sign. It's connected to the name of the Son of God. Not It's not I, Son, anymore. It's not Comet I, Son. Now it's the name of the Son. The Son, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Now it, the Comet has the exact name, okay, of the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Jesus is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Comet Leonard, okay, exactly where the serpent, is thrown out from Ophiuchus. Michael the Archangel, at the end of the battle that takes place in, in heaven, at the end of the, 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 the war, okay, there was war in heaven. And there was a, no more a place found for the great serpent. He was cast out. Okay, he was cast out. Well, this represents that. December 12th, Comet Leonard right here represents that. Okay, so I just wanted to share these details with you about December 12th. Yeah. So if we look on the Hebrew calendar, we're going to see that the 12th of December is the 9th of Tibet, which is one day before this very important 10th of Tibet. Okay, so I mean the 10th of Tibet could be the day that is being set up for the destruction just as it was in the days of Nebuchadnezzar, the 10th of Tibet, and we are rescued just before the disaster strikes, which would fit for the 9th of Tibet on the 12th of December. Okay, this was also the day that Queen Esther was chosen to be the queen. Okay, remember, Esther was taken and chosen. Right, and this connects us with this time. Whether we are watching the Hebrew calendar or the Torah calendar, we are in 
this window that is so very important. So I'm very excited about all of these details. We have the new month that is beginning. We've got the rest of Hanukkah yet, whether it's the 6th or the 8th of December. We can be very excited and hopeful here. This possibility between now and the 8th of December, but we do have another very important sign on December 12th and it could be the representation of the great heavenly battle coming to an end right here with Comet Leonard in Ophiuchus and this connects us with Revelation 12:12. 12, 12. Rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. The devil is come down to you having great wrath because he knoweth he hath but a short time. Okay? So I pray all of this information is a blessing for you. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.